Well, hello to RootSource students. Today we're with Dave Butts of Harvest Ministries in Jackson, Mississippi. Dave, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you, Bob. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, 23 years ago, my wife and I began Harvest Prayer Ministries, basically saying, how can we help local churches become houses of prayer for all nations in order to see revival and the finishing of the task of world evangelism? So, Dave, you have spent a lot of time working with prayers around the topic of elections. Is that correct? That's right. One of the, uh, one of the other hats I wear is for the last 13 years I've served as chairman of the National Prayer Committee uh, as well as chairman of the board of the National Day of Prayer. So that gives me a real passion for our nation and particularly helping people discover how do you pray biblically and effectively for our elections. Now Dave, our students are all around the world and there's various election cycles that are going on, and not just in America here. Can you give some advice for Christians how to pray for their, their elections in their own countries? You know, I believe Paul gives us some really good advice. When he writes to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 2 and commands us to pray for those who are in authority, and he prays particularly as he, as he brings that, that section to a close because God wants everyone saved. He literally ties our prayers to the condition of a nation so that the gospel can go forth. And so Paul would say, pray for those who are in leadership. And I would suggest, say strongly, that Paul would also say, that includes those who are vying for leadership. You know, I think Paul would be so amazed that there's a group of Christians who can help choose, select their own leaders. I also think Paul would probably be appalled at Christians who could select their own leaders, but choose not to. Now, Dave, you said that you are have an interest in Israel. Can you tell us about that and how that got started? I, uh, I think I grew up with that, with kind of a DNA with my father, who was an elder in the church and, and a passionate uh, student of scripture. And from the very beginning, uh, of my life. I have uh, been very interested in Israel. As a matter of fact, I remember very clearly the day as a child when I discovered to my horror that I was Gentile. I mean, all my, all my heroes in the Bible were Jews and they were talking about the Gentiles and then I suddenly I discovered, oh no, I'm one of those Gentiles, so I, I've recovered. <clears throat> but I have always had a love for the Jewish people and for Israel and numerous trips there have cemented that and uh, spending much time uh, with, with Jews, both those who are still walking in Orthodox uh, Jewish faith, as well as those who have come to experience Jesus as their Messiah. Dave, you mentioned to me a story about something your father uh, brought you in on when you were young. Tell well, us. I, I will never forget. Uh, I was in my room one day, I was 14 years old, and my father was next door uh, in the living room watching the nightly news. And I heard him holler, David, come here. And I heard next, right next door to the next room. And my father was watching the nightly news. And he said, look, Dave, you're seeing biblical prophecy come to fruition right now. It was June 6th, 1967. And Israeli troops were being shown at the Western Wall. It was called the Wailing Wall. And for the first time since Jesus had walked the, the stones of Jerusalem, Jerusalem belonged to the Jewish people. It was, uh, it was a pivotal point in my own life, but certainly for Israel, and I believe for God's prophetic time clock. The Harvest Prayer Ministries website is uh, harvestprayer.com. Okay. And I would also uh, invite people to go to our Facebook page, particularly a page called 2016 Election Prayer. And there are daily prayers. They're nonpartisan, but they help people biblically know how to pray for our nation and particularly around this election. Well, thank you, Dave, for being with us today. It's been great to hear from you. Thank you.